So a quick look at how I created this kind of brocade material using a seamless texture I found on Adobe Stock. They got a whole lot of them. You can have a lot of fun with these. One thing the artist did was put this little gradient on it to give it an effect so that it looks sort of metallic, which is normally what you want. But in my case, I don't want that because I want the metallic effect to appear actually where it should because the light's hitting it, not because it's some randomly placed gradient. So if I was doing this in Photoshop, I'd be playing around with some high pass filters and things for about 20 minutes to get this right. Instead, in Style 3D, they have a fabric module, which I love, and we can get rid of this very quickly. And it's a little counterintuitive if you open the crop tool. And under the smooth heading, we have these different types of smooth. We're going to use the separate color smooth. It usually defaults to pure color smooth. We've got two colors here, so we'll use separate. And see what happens when you play around with the slider. I crank it way up to the top. That gradient's completely gone. So now I can save this as a tileable texture. But before I do that, I wanted to add a metalness map and a gloss map to this. Uh, you have to use both. It's sort of, I'm not sure why you have to use both for to get full effect in Style 3D. But I go over to Photoshop, and here I've got my uh, texture still has the gradient, but I don't care for this these purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer, and it'll be levels. And here I'm going to take the white picker over here, and pick this the darker gold. This gets to set most of that to white. Let's go see if we find a darker. There, bright white. And then the red, we will choose the black picker and go find some red. Let's make it darker. And then simply go to layers and add black and white. What this is going to do is any area that's black is going to have no shine. An area that's white is going to have complete shine. So you could use this to give um, metal effects to fabrics that have lurex threads or things. It's a little complicated with a weave. In this case, it's, it's quite simple. So I would simply save this out as a JPEG um, and then either in Style 3D Fabric or back in Style 3D itself, we can go and add. So I would add, normally it should be enough to add this as a metal map. Let's go find my But let's go look at it as it as a jacket just for fun. So we're still not getting a whole lot of the reflection. So I'm going to add the same to my gloss map. And there we have it. We have that metal. You can do the same thing in Clo. Clo has the same um texture slots. You can add them the same way I've done here in Clo, and you'll get the same effect. There are sliders that you can play with the strength of the metalness, and also the gloss, to give you the level of shine that you want. You know, all the way up, looks more like tinfoil, doesn't look like actual Lurex, so I wouldn't go that high. If I was getting close up, I would want to add some more texture because it really does look like tinfoil. I'd add a normal map underneath that. But in this case, we're going to use the nifty Style 3D Use Auto Generate Normal Map, which is a lot of fun. But in this case, see, it's, it's embossing the gold. And what I want it for it is to sit on top. So I'm going to go to Strength, and I'm going to turn it down to a negative value, like negative 2. or something. And there, there it's sitting on top as if it was applied. So that's how I created that fabric.